Welcome to the wetlands of Caño Negro. But before we're going to start our tour, there's a few things I'd like to mention. As Caño Negro is not that known to tourists and to be a tourist attraction, it's not really developed. Now, of course, the beneficial part is that it's a very authentic, uh, quiet little town. But of course, the other side is that there's not many shops and other stuff to do here in town other than the tours. Now, with that being said, we're about to embark the boat. We're really excited to see what Caño Negro has to offer. So, come along and I'll show you why you should come to Caño Negro on your visit in Costa Rica. And although Caño Negro was not in our original itinerary, it really was one of the highlights of our road trip through Costa Rica. Let me show you why. The wetlands of Caño Negro are especially a highlight for bird watchers. As there are almost more than 100 different species of birds throughout the year. And the main attraction of course is the kingfisher. This stunning piece of nature is considered by many to be the third most important wetland in the world and is one of the most significant humid zones in the country. A nature lover's paradise, Caño Negro is the habitat of many migrant and endangered fish, reptiles, birds and plants. Now before we're going to climb the tower and show you the wetlands from above, I would like to show you the difference between the wet and the dry season in this picture. Of course the fauna is completely different in both seasons, so whether you come here in the wet or the dry season, you'll have a completely different tour. And as you can see, the views from above are really amazing and absolutely worth the climb. After enjoying the spectacle of birds, it was time for us to climb down and continue our boat trip through the wetlands of Caño Negro. And what's cooler than spotting an iguana in a tree? Wait for it! Spotting a bunch of them! Did you know they can actually change colors? For example, during breeding season to become more visible to other mates, but also to mark off the territories. A little further down the river, we came right in time to see this heron catching his own meal. It was really interesting to watch, especially the amount of time and dedication it took him to actually eat the fish. And as you can see, even for the heron, there's a 5 second rule when dropping your food. And of course, if you wait long enough, other interested parties come along to see if they can help you with your snack. But as you can see, eventually he managed just fine on his own.
And unless you want to end up at somebody else's lunch, swimming here is strongly not advised. As for bird watching during the wet season, which typically lasts from July to November, the banks of the river overflow. During this time, the reserve becomes a shallow lake and acts as a wintering site for migrant American birds. During the dry season, which runs from December until April, the water level steadily falls until all that's left is the Rio Frio mains channel. And although some birds make their nest in the reserve and stick around all year, most birds, however, make their appearance during the dry season. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and activate the notification bell to stay updated on new uploads. One of the perks of having a private tour is that I was able to fly my drone and enjoy the beautiful wetlands from above. So let's enjoy some stunning views. And as amazing as it looks, at times it is hard to believe that this is their natural habitat and we are just peeking into a day of their lives. And for flora and fauna lovers such as ourselves, it was an absolute pleasure being able to film and enjoy this spectacular piece of nature. And before we went back to the harbor, ending a boat trip through the wetlands of Caño Negro, there is one final pit stop and surprise waiting for us nearby. Our final stop got us hiking through a bird shit infested field and one unlucky cow. But it really was worth the effort as we spotted a large group of rosette spoonbills.
and other howler monkeys are quite common to see in Costa Rica, we never get tired of watching them. A very special thanks to our sponsor and tour operator for this fantastic day. And of course they gladly provide a discount to all of our viewers. Details can be found in the description of the video. So make sure to put Canyo Negro on your itinerary and see you soon! Thank you very much for making the time to check out our video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and check out our playlist to see more Costa Rica and other travel related content. Pura Vida!